Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good. Pretty good. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a garden. We'll call it garden update, maybe. I don't know. Oh, man, I need to trim these apple trees a little bit. I can't get under them now. But anyways, uh, pumpkin update first. I've uh, sort of been still mowing in here, but not uh, really in the row of where they're growing. So hopefully that's going to be all right. But uh, so these are the giant ones. You can see they're past their baby leaves, I guess we'll say. That's going to be uh, one of the, the bigger leaves. And then i will start vining, I guess, from that. That one's not so good. This one's, oh, they're all pretty close to about the same, really. So these are supposed to be the giant pumpkins. So I should probably get a shot of fertilizer to them uh, fairly soon. That one's coming pretty good. This one's a little smaller, but I guess they're, guess they're all right. This one, uh, this one looks like it got a bit of frozen or something. Something weird. You'd wonder. And uh, this one here. Yeah, all out here, they've got like brown edge things to them. Doesn't look so good on the stem there. Well, that's not good. Something's eating the stem, it looks like. Yeah. Weird. I don't know. So those are the giant ones, and over here were the smaller ones. I should probably come in and weed whack around them, but I'd be afraid I hit them, hit them with the weed whacker. So yeah, a little different leaf on them too. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm planning on doing here. I want to see where the vines start to go, but then I'll have to probably move them somewhere else. These ones went that way. That might be all right, but I should probably get in here and mow that, I guess. So, yeah, they're all, that one and that one's about the same. No, I'm wrong here. This is the giant side. Pumpkin Big Macs. I'm confused. <laughs> there is one there. There's one here. It doesn't look so good either. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Something maybe is eaten. They're trying to eat these things. I don't know. One there. One here. Pardon me. And I don't see one there. But anyways. Okay. Now I'm confused. Those look like giant pumpkins to me with the kid beside it. Yeah. Uh, Dill's Atlantic Giant PvP pumpkin. Player versus player pumpkin, I guess. <laughs> and then over here, these are Big Macs. Confusing looking picture. Because that looks like a giant pumpkin too, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. So, yes, anyways, they're uh, hopefully going to, hopefully going to work here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should give them a little shot of fertilizer or something. Oh, but I need to get up here in my weed whacker too. I've just been so busy back there weed whacking. I haven't had time for mine up here, you know. It's like, <coughs> pardon me, it's like you work in a restaurant all day. The last thing you want to do is come home and make dinner, if you know what I mean. It's one of those things. Mowing and cutting grass all day. The last thing I want to do is come home and mow and cut grass up here all day. You know, at night. So, uh, anyways. Let's go have a look at the potatoes. 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 So, the first pile of straight leaf mulch. And I know it doesn't look like much. There's a hill of potatoes, a row of potatoes in there. Looks like I got a, some grass started. And I don't really see any potatoes poking through. So that's maybe not a good thing. Um, maybe they don't like this stuff, I don't know. 
maybe they don't like that stuff but anyways this was uh, soil from one place and then we got the other pile of soil there from the other place and I can see some potatoes starting there you go and those are superior potatoes I planted some more coming a couple little weeds here and there but so far not too bad see we mixed in some uh, chicken manure from the chickens we saved through the well, manure and straw uh, that we saved through the winter and uh, see some of the seeds that they didn't eat are starting to come up too this is probably like a, a wheat or something come up really fast that's a that's a weed that's a weed that was a wheat there or something I don't know Kind of wouldn't mind letting a couple of them grow up see what happens but so yeah potatoes potatoes some potatoes i'm gonna have to shore up the hill i think a little bit here because i think they're gonna bulge out maybe i don't know so this was the other soil uh this one was more sandy kind of stuff a lot more loamy-ish kind of stuff where this was more like peaty and uh more fluffy i guess we'll call it not not so much sand into it so, but uh, I think so far, well, let's count plants here. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, call that seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten on this hill. And yes, we did plant the same amount. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, so far, the darker stuff here is ahead. And it is uh, quite a bit darker looking stuff. This is uh, a lot more sandy, loamy looking stuff. So, we'll see. We shall see what's going to happen. I don't know. But anyways, just been carrying on here. Not too much happening, just mowing grass, living life. <laughs> it's about all we can say. Um, <clears throat> what else has been going on? Not really too much. My uh, stepdad here has got the Jubilee out. Um, he's going on a ride on, I think, Wednesday. A bunch of them are getting together and going for a ride through the country. I'd, I'd love to go, but unfortunately they're going on places where I can't take Boris i.e. back roads and up and down hills and you know lots of I can't really drive Boris on that just because of the way it's set up um, he says it's it's not going to be a very good tractor for any kind of hills because it's so light on the back and so heavy on the front so I'm like well that's fine Boris is a Boris is a asphalt parade tractor basically right so but anyways let's flip cameras here again so there's the Jubilee he uh, had to put a new battery in it today. Um, I don't think he had to do too much else, but he put a new battery to it. I don't think he left me a key. He might have taken the key with him while we fired up for you. The old Jubilee. Yeah, he's got the key, so. Sorry, can't start it for you, unless he's hidden her somewhere in plain sight. I think that seat flips up oh, this way, maybe. Mm, don't see any key. He must have taken it. So, anyway, sorry, can't fire it up. But uh, this tractor is needing some engine work, some uh, probably rings, pistons, and sleeves in the engine here. It does smoke pretty good. Pardon me, it's got. Uh, Quite a bit of blue coming at the back of her, especially when she's working. So I, I would kind of imagine that's probably, probably the original build from factory in that engine. I kind of highly doubt it's ever been done. <clears throat> Hard to say though; you never know. But uh, yeah, it just still runs good. It's just a little hard on, a little hard on oil, we'll say. So. And uh, good, good tractor this one because it's still uh, still fairly tight, you know, on the steering wheel. And we're losing a little bit there. See, I look at that, and 
how much play you've got before it actually steers and it's actually pretty good there so that's uh that's decent so yeah four speed one two three and then four and then up and over is reverse basically just a basic ford tractor but a little nicer looking this is the anniversary tractor so i don't know how many of these they made but quite a few what are you doing yeah you're still alive too aren't you we didn't put you in the barbecue <laughs> not yet anyways yeah chickens are still good everything else is good so far so good we'll say and uh yeah golden jubilee so we've got a little bird of some sort living in the uh inside of this peak thing here i don't exactly know how we found that but there is a little spot that he's going up in there he just flew out a few minutes ago so i don't know exactly where he went but scared him out i guess so it's a tight little spot it's only uh well, enough for a bird to get in i guess so probably should uh figure something out there to keep uh keep him out of there what i don't know but to figure something out but uh anyways yeah that's it uh nothing else new just been working cutting grass and trimming just like always nothing nothing changed so <coughs> oh pardon me we're still all good truck's running good uh no issues yet with it so it's good we had the slingshot out the other night it went pretty good uh yeah seemed fine brakes are all good on it now and had all those recalls done on it right so everything's all beauty now with it so uh the recalls were that rear swing arm had to replace uh fuel line issue they replaced and there was a seal in the brakes does something to do with when they torqued something down at factory they over torqued it and it wrecks the a seal of some sort so they fix that too and it's all awesome now you just touch the brakes and you're like ooh instead of like woo woo and then finally you get some brakes right it was a little scary so it's good now so uh other than that not much else new just keeping on going i guess right so but uh really wish i could still be making videos free down there but uh it's just not gonna happen so unfortunately so we'll have to figure out something like you know i can do stuff up here but um it's also going to affect my uh, work schedule i think if i do that so uh i can only do kind of stuff on weekends or whatever like i'm just we just come home from dylan's baseball practice now and uh thought i'd shoot you a little something and that's it so uh car the Bu buick yeah <laughs> buick no uh toyota is running good i was looking right at it too and i said buick isn't that awful Toyota's running good. Uh, no problems with it either, so nothing to fix, which is kind of nice. <laughs> I don't mind that so much. Uh, what else is new? I don't think there was much else new. Just the plants. I gotta maybe get some fertilizer on those uh, pumpkins of some sort and uh, get them uh, maybe going a little bit. It's not really been kind of super warm out here so they're not really kind of doing a whole lot yet they've sprouted extra leaves so i guess that's good but um they got a long way to go yet so hopefully they'll they'll get going and uh, shoot us out some vines and then we'll figure out which ones are gonna bud into uh pumpkins and then the extra vines will just chop them off and put the power back to the the main vine that's got the pumpkins on it so like i don't need like 50 pumpkins i just need like maybe three big ones and then three monster ones that'd be lots you know so we don't generally have trick-or-treaters here for halloween so we don't really need pumpkins but just want to see you know if i can grow them so I've, I've never never really had any luck growing anything on this property anywhere here i don't know what's wrong with the, the soil here but uh, I, it never seems to grow anything so we're trying over here this year we never tried that spot we'll see what that does you know i did pumpkins here a couple of years or pumpkins uh potatoes started with a p i almost had it potatoes and uh they haven't done good there for a couple of years so we're trying it once again with some different soils to see if that helps um honestly right behind the house uh, we had a garden there at one time and i did pumpkin pumpkins i did it again potatoes there once and they came out pretty good 
And then the second year we tried, oh, let's do that again, that worked pretty good. And the second year we did it, we did the exact same thing, planted all the rows and stuff, went to the plants sort of died back, so we went to harvest them, and some kind of bug had been through all of them and ate all the inside of the potatoes out and left all the skins. So I'm like, really? And then the year after that, I don't think we hardly got anything out of it. So I'm like, oh, that was stupid. So then I tried over here, and it's, I think the first year wasn't too bad. Last year was not good at all, but I was using seeds I had left over from there. So I don't know if that was a problem, but these are brand new seeds, brand new dirt with chicken manure in it. So they got to freaking do something. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But anyways, I guess that's about it. I'll get rocking. Thanks again for watching and sticking around with me. You know, I'm trying my best what I can do with what I got now. And uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but uh, it's all we can do. It's all I can do. So it's going to be uh, kind of stuff like this or stuff if we do and go out somewhere or video game stuff. So um, the odd time we might get into, you know, like changing the oil in Dylan's bike or the ATV or something like that. But that doesn't happen too often either. So <sighs> it's going to suck. But anyways... I've been demoted, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. I'm, I don't know, I'm mixed feelings about it. It's kind of good because I do think I was kind of starting to neglect my actual work a bit. This, uh, the YouTube stuff was fun and stuff, but it was taking like a lot of time. So I know you guys heard that before, but uh, the other day I was mentioning that. But uh, yeah, I just taken up a lot of my time and you know an hour and a bit or whatever a day shooting stuff and then by the time I get up and you know render it all and it was taking a lot of time so there's a lot that has to go into it and a lot of people know how much goes into it and a lot of people don't though they just oh building the Bill's team next video sweet let's watch it but you know sometimes it's not thought of how much has to go actually into that there's a lot of you know a lot of work to it right so I couldn't tell you a number of how many hours a week we were doing it but um it was probably way too much so <laughs> so but uh anyways i'm guess uh guess what my thing was i was trying to keep everybody happy all at once and it was just kind of too much for one person so that's that's sort of what it was i guess but uh you know i'm trying to keep my employers happy here and showing you guys stuff as i'm doing stuff to keep them happy and trying to keep you guys happy with content and then you know it was just getting to be too much so but anyways Things worked out the way they work out, and I guess, I don't know, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's not a good thing, I don't know, so. But, uh, video game content stuff, I'm gonna try to do some more of. If you guys wanna let me know what kind of, what sort of stuff you would like to watch, then, you know, I'll see if I have already have the game. If not, I can probably buy the game, and we can play some, or whatever, you know. And, uh, I'm gonna try to keep Farm Sim going, I guess. It seems to have lost a bit of interest, too, now, so. Uh, the last oh, six months it seemed to have dropped off so I guess farm sims getting getting old and boring you know but there is like 400 episodes of farm sim on the channel so I really don't know how many more we have to do for farm sim I mean I like playing farm sim most times but sometimes I get kind of frustrated with it and bored, bored with it too right so but any other games you know I've got pretty much all the Call of Duty games um, I don't know how well the older ones will record but I've been playing actually quite a bit of uh, Black Ops 3 it's, it's pretty good um, actually, I think that's the newest one out too right now, and it actually runs better than Black Ops, like the other ones, and some of the other Call of Duties. I'm getting like, uh, for example, I think in the other ones, I'm only getting maybe 50 frame a second, where Black Ops 3, I'm doing like 115 frame a second. I'm like, holy cow, this is pretty sweet. So, runs pretty smooth, runs pretty good. So then maybe you know we can play uh, a run through of that. I haven't even played it all myself, but. Um, so far it's pretty futuristic and kind of weird but i guess we could get used to it so but uh yeah let me know if you know what games you guys would like to see like we got the train sims we got the train train sim mechanic thingy game thing that was pretty good uh train mechanic sim i think that's what it was called train sim train mechanic simulator i think that's what it was uh geez i can't think of all the other games grand theft auto that's kind of all right but it's not super great of a game maybe i don't know uh some of the stuff's all right but i like to play some of the single player man it's oh it's sweary <laughs> i don't really like the sweary so sweary's not kind of so super good I'm trying to keep it clean too right so even uh black ops 3 has a lot of swearies in it you know i was like wow wow kids are gonna be playing this and you guys are talking like this in it like wow i guess there's no censoring that anymore so you know what the frig right uh, literally <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, anyways, um, what else have I got uh, for games? I got quite a few games on Steam there, so. I just can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but uh, Astroneer, I've been playing that a bit, but uh, it sort of gets a little frustrating too, that game. It's, I don't know, takes takes a, takes a bit to get used to or something, but sometimes you get a good game, and other times you don't get a good game, and yeah, it's, it's a good game, but you know, once you get everything sort of done, then you're kind of done. You know, there's you can go explore, but there's no point in bringing any more of those little those little uh, research note things back because it'll just give you like a something else not a an actual research thing so uh, they need to figure out something for the end part of the game because you just kind of you go to the other planets and, and that's maybe about it <laughs> you know and it's kind of doesn't really get you anywhere so it's a good game until you get it finished i guess we'll say or until you get it built your base built and then it's kind of boring but um anyways yeah so but quite a few games we can play if you want to see that's that's sweet um, so let me know if you find something, you know, if I find something that I don't have that you guys maybe suggest, I can definitely look it up and probably pick it up, you know, off Steam or whatever. So, um, other than that, I guess that's it. Like I say, not too much else happening here. I'm just, uh, keeping the nose clean and, uh, mowing my grass and looking after the place. So that's all I, that's all I can do. So, but anyways, I gotta go. You guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching and sticking with me and stuff. And I'll try my best, uh, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> it's gonna be tricky. So we might have to do some more out of here videos kind of thing. Go somewhere and do stuff or whatever, you know. Um, I might even uh, I haven't even had them out yet. The bikes, my motorcycles here, I haven't even had them out yet. I've had the slingshot it a few times, but not not the bikes. If <sighs> might as well maybe even take the insurance off them because you know I'm probably not going to be able to ride them or not have time to ride them so maybe I'll just save the money and take the insurance off and then just sell them or something I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet I do like enjoying riding motorcycles but maybe the boulevard I don't know maybe I'll get rid of that one or something I'll keep the DR going at least I can take that on road and trail riding or off road if I want to right where Nobody except maybe Dylan wants to go on the bike with me now because, you know, my wife's like, oh, no, I don't want to go on that. Well, I want to go in the car now. It's like, okay, let's go in the car. So that's why I never ride the bike, right? So, uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll figure something out, but maybe I'll end up selling the boulevard or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's just not really kind of good to keep it there and spending money and insurance on it and you're not even really using it, right? So, but anyways, that's enough of my gums flapping. We'll catch you later. Uh, couldn't tell you when it'll just be whenever kind of thing. I have no schedule for it now So it comes when it comes and goes when it goes I guess so but uh, thanks again for watching sticking again sticking around with me and uh, Have a good night and we'll catch you all later